this is this this is kind of dramatic because backstage is a man who Tony has not been face to face with in 21 years. It is her ex-husband Anthony. You see, Tony is here to prove that Anthony is in fact the biological Pitiful. father of her 26-year-old daughter, Amari. Oh. Tony claims that when Amari was 10 years old, Anthony abandoned them, oh. began to deny that he was Amari's father. So before we speak to Tony, take a look at why Anthony is dead set on denying Amari. Watch. Tony is poison. She uses and scams people. I am not Amari's father. And the truth came out over 20 years ago. When Amari was 10, she looked me in the eyes and told me her mother said that I wasn't her father. So I walked out of their lives and I haven't seen them since. My marriage to Tony was brief, but it felt like an eternity. She cheated on me time after time. Tony admitted to me that she slept in the bed with another man. That man might be Amari's father. Tony and I are both light complected, and Amari is dark. I dare anyone to find one feature that Amari and I share. It's clear, the only way they will leave me alone is through a DNA test. And the only way I was gonna let that happen was through the DNA king himself, Amari Pope. Get him out here. Oh my God. Wait, 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 wait. The unmitigated gall of this man. Really? He has a lot of nerve. Wow. Number one, I was married to him. I loved him. I didn't need him. I raised that child on my own. It's my child. Dying. How dare he? How dare he? He ought to be thankful that he has such a beautiful daughter. That's a, that I raised to be such a lady. And I'm livid. Let's talk How about the history dare here. You. you all were married. Absolutely. Okay. You had a daughter. Yes, we did. You have not seen him in 21... 21 years, right. and I don't miss him. Okay. I miss him for my child and my right. grandchildren. Okay, so your child is born, everything's fine, right? Absolutely. You and Anthony part ways. Absolutely. Now, after that, he's in your daughter's life for a while. Always. Excellent father right. would come. The, the judge gave him a visitation. Right. Christmas. Right. He did everything. Everything the judge right. asked him to so do. Here's he was an excellent parent. So here's what Till happened. Till she was 10. Till she was 10. But this is a very telling moment in the story because this is where everything kind of broke apart. Absolutely, Maury. Your little 10-year-old sure. daughter yes. told him that my mommy said... That is correct. My mommy said you're not my father. That is correct. And you know what, Maury? I take full responsibility for that. Yeah. I'm gonna tell you. And I'm going to tell you why. I'm going to tell you why. And I want to speak this to everyone in television land and even the audience. Maury has a saying that says, don't ever tell a man that he's not your child. I was, I was in my feelings. I was hurt because he had left me. And I, and I said it out of anger. But don't ever say that to a man. That is his daughter. That is his daughter. I, I felt some type of way. I've never cheated on him. That's his daughter. The problem is... She wasn't my child. Well, you're going to figure out today she is. You're going to figure out today she is. Here, here's the problem. He you had enough time to go get a DNA test. You thought she was. You had enough time. 